Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. Happy Juneteenth. Eve is on the prowl for some snicky snacks. And Peter's off of work for the day. And so. it's only 1.30. Yeah. We're excited to celebrate the day. Oh my goodness, the sun is out and Peter is outside. Wow. I have a collar on today too. You sure do. We're headed to Target first because I am out of my prenatal vitamin and some kombucha. Oh. I didn't even mention that. Um, and then I'm going to drop Peter off. So there's a, a celebratory march going on but at, that's meeting in five minutes. We'll be a little late to that at, at the courthouse. Um, and then I think there's like a music festival going on at Lake Eola. And then there's going to be more marches later today. So You're going to be all over the place. I'm going to be all over the place. I got my Tevas on. I got my black collared shirt on. It's going to be a good day. It's really hot though. It's 93 degrees. Yikes! They came in the Target that says prenatal, but I forgot they have healthy kombucha. That's what Sarah loves. Usually like everybody has this kind, but it's not as good as this kind. Sarah loves this one. All right, Sarah just dropped me off by Lake Eola. It looks like the one of the celebrations going on here. I don't know if this is marching over to City Hall, but the typical Orlando Freedom Fighters will be at City Hall at four regardless. So this will be good too. I hope this all merges together. Well, you know what? That sounds like one of the guys that's usually at City Hall. So no matter who gets into the office, we still have our commands being met. And so I'm asking you today, let's join together, family. Let's make sure we stay on one accord. Let's organize like Ooh. never before. Because this is our day. This is our day. And we will celebrate with our Haitian brothers, with our Jamaican brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all remember how we were written off in the Constitution? How us males, yes, males, not, yeah, yeah we were black males. We were actually considered not a whole man, but three-fifths of a man. When they went to amend the Constitution, they said, okay, we will free the slaves with the 13th Amendment unless you commit a crime. So now we know the new slave system is the prison system, and they have the school system, which is a school to pipeline, school to prison pipeline. So we ain't gonna let that happen. That ain't right. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Say, that ain't right. And one of the only ways we will make this happen is when we collectively come together and each and every last one of y'all, I swear, you better vote. I know that everybody out there like, look who we got is our choices. Oh, I ain't even gonna vote. Okay, well don't look at voting as if it's you voting for the leader who's gonna lead you. Look as you putting your receiver in place so you can pass them the ball and score a touchdown. We ain't sitting there trying to hire somebody to be the coach. We just want somebody on our team. We are the leaders. Let's get together. One more time. One First time like a week and a half we're gonna go march. But it's gonna be more of like a celebration march. Alrighty friends, I am home. Me and Evie just went on a hot like 20 minute walk, but we're supposed to get some storms. Um and the clouds were definitely rolling in, the temperature was dropping, Peter knows. Um, so they're kind of ready for it. But I actually ended up going to FedEx to get something printed last minute for Peter for Father's Day. I'm not gonna show you yet. And I know Peter really doesn't watch the vlog, so don't mention anything in the comments that I even did this. But it's just simple print that I'm framing. If we end up, I'm using a frame we had. If I end up getting a new frame, um, we will. Or if I end up reprinting it, I will. But this is something I've wanted to hang in our house forever and I realized it would be a really thoughtful but quick 
second Father's Day <laughs> for us. Um, just a little gift that he won't be expecting on Sunday. So I'm excited to show you guys in a couple of days. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I actually have a design call. And then I'm gonna send, spend some time crafting some emails, which I'll fill you in more when the time comes. <laughs> Hustlin' and bustlin' kitchen over here. We got the dishwasher going. We got this dishwasher going. Um, Peter is now home. And I made a creamy sauce for pasta for dinner. I just started with oil and onions and then I made that into a roux with flour. Added some almond milk. Um, lots of Italian seasonings, pepper, salt, plenty of nutritional yeast. Tabasco sauce and spinach. So it's yummy. We're gonna have that for an easy dinner. And relax. This is how it turned out. I'm gonna top it with some salt and pepper. Why are you running? You have to say for ACS. Because I'm a runner and for ACS, American Cancer Society. Sarah's gonna watch a video while I'm gone by Peter McKinnon. And she's gonna start planning our video. <laughs> what the? This is you. You made a whole script. I know that we haven't we haven't looked at it once. Um, I'm gonna go run tonight. Gonna run tomorrow. Oh, big update! Got my COVID nineteen test results back. They were negative, and I'm Wonderful. scheduled to donate blood tomorrow with one blood, one blood. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> but you got a free COVID test, antibody yeah. test. Um, got to debate if I'm going to go a Sunday morning, like we said, and get another test for COVID because I have been out and about. Uh, but we'll see. When you do them, the orange. We never said about what happened when you got your throat swabbed <laughs> and your eyes were watering. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it felt like there was. A, Stabs in the back of my throat, yeah, and I you just never like, took me by surprise. It and then, so she, because it was not a nostril, it was a throat swab. <laughs> the woman took the sand, like scraped it for the sample, and when she took it, I was like, "You okay?" Because I like instantly had like just tears in my eyes, and I was like, <laughs> and I put my mask back on and drove off. <laughs> but yeah, okay. finally got it back. Feeling what you feel. Okay, so the Peter McKinnon video is a 72 hour film challenge and so he's basically giving his viewers the weekend to create a five minute film it could be on anything um just have to make it send it in by sunday and so maybe we'll be making our acs world marathon challenge video this weekend and editing it this weekend and sending it off to see if we could win the prizes were super cool every Tier, I think there's like three spots, has a Mavic Air 2 um, drone in it, as well as gift cards to B&H Photo and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so that'd be cool. Also, I'm gonna get comfortable to talk about this real quick. We watched this new show today called Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. And just a quick warning before um, you run and watch it, there is some adult content. So just be sure to check out the rating before you watch it. Um, just a little bit of a warning there. Evie wanted to join me on the couch. Oh my gosh. Are you tired? You ready for bed? Evie? Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna give her 
belly rubs because I think she just wants some lovin's. But um, the first episode is what I wanted to talk about on this trigger warning show. Um, it was really interesting. Killer Mike decided that he was going to live completely black for three days. So that meant only using products, only eating food. Um, everything had to be created by someone who is black or a company that is black owned and whatnot. And so it was just a really interesting take on that. It had a lot of good information. And what we want to challenge ourselves with is something that he ends the episode saying, and that's by making one day a week, he says specifically Black Friday, like giving a new purpose to the term Black Friday, is that once a week that you intentionally either purchase something from a black owned business or go to a black owned restaurant just to be conscious of that and support the black community in um in your dollars in the way that you spend your money and um just being a little bit more intentional with it could go a long way because even he didn't realize how little um he was supporting the black community so comment below if you are up to take that challenge as well He's back. He's doing work. Just for a little before we go to bed. Yeah, I got an issue. So I just got like, she doesn't know if she's got a migraine coming in or an allergic reaction in her eyeball. I'm making this quick. It's probably my farewell for the night. Um, we're watching Toy Story 4. I realize we really haven't watched it um, since the theaters. So my eye was starting to get itchy. Took my contacts out. But now I'm starting to lose my vision in my left eye or like I have like flickering light and usually that means I'm gonna get a really bad migraine but what's weird is typically I already have a headache when that happens and then it just gets worse whereas like I feel totally fine but I can't see out of my left eye so usually the only thing that does work is going to bed and being in total darkness Taking Excedrin, which I cannot take, so I might take a couple of Tylenol just to prepare for a potential migraine. Um, I realized I never brought up the emails that I was going to write earlier, and I actually never got around to it, but hopefully will tomorrow. And that is responses to both Mayor Buddy Dyer and um, Rick Scott, who is the like our state senate representative um both sent back emails to um both sent responses to emails that i sent they were very um like one size fits all but i wasn't crazy about some of the things that were said in them and so i'm hoping that if i respond again that it'll be more of a conversation and less of just like a reply like an auto response i mean it was obviously crafted to the subject but um yeah hopefully it'll cause more conversation if i don't see you again good night 12 25 time for the message today is june 19th juneteenth super awesome and important day today's message is by epiketus the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you whose per presence calls forth your best. Well, I couldn't agree more with that. Just hanging out with James. Very for Father's Day, which I'm super pumped about Sunday. Um, thank you for following along with our adventures. Don't know who the rest of the weekend is going to bring us, but it's going to be a good one, because it's the weekend. We love each and every one of you guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.